Hey everyone, welcome back to my first video on the Lucanator channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you the best and fastest ways in which you can complete your mastery in the Emu Legacy. Now, I'm not simply just going to be blindly oversighting every single Lumi mastery inside of the game, but instead, I'm going to be giving a deep description of the best ways that I found in order for you to complete every single task for every single Lumian species, hence why this video is over an hour long. But hey, this will at least give you my knowledge into what I believe to be the fastest ways for you to complete your mastery, so you can earn some of those sweet rewards along the way, such as faster rallying, or even the permanent ESP boosters, or so that you can basically turn your Lumians into a literal motorbike. There's just a few things to note here before we get started. Completing the entire mastery from scratch is entirely impossible at the moment. Some limbs are event specific and require you to catch them yourselves, or just currently impossible to find. But that doesn't mean you can't get to a high level to a lot of the rewards, and chances are, those event limbs that are required for the mastery task are likely to return in future events, so don't worry. Completing the mastery will also take an incredibly long amount of time and dedication, so be prepared to put a few hours into grinding tasks and completing each individual mastery. But let me tell you, the rewards are 100% worth it in the end. Some of you also might be here to get special Gamma Gleamings and may wonder how do I get Gamma Gleamings for the Mastery and what do I require to find them? Well, simply put, Gamma Gleamings are a special kind of Gleaming that is five times rarer than Alphas and they can also only be found in the wild. With the Gleaming Boosting Charm, still to find one is 1 in 640 chance and also these odds for those without booster charms, which isn't easy. But oh boy, do they look epic and they come with a special orb that orbits around them called a Wisp. It will require you to finish the mastery for that specific Lumion species in order for you to get the chance to find them in the world. This video as well as is split into two parts in which I explain all the Lumions from the starters to Reven line in this video and the others in part two, which if you're interested to find a certain Lumion mastery that you want to complete, I will also leave timestamps here on the screen right now for you, in case you want to find out where they are in this video. As well as this, I will also leave them in the description for you as well. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this helpful and enjoy this content. I really appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. And with this hell of a long intro out of the way, let's get right into the video. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time. Peace. So when it comes to any of the starters for the mastery, all of them have the exact same tasks, which I will show you right now inside the Lumion Mastery or Embit line, Ripple line, the Feevine line, for every single one, they have the exact same task. The first one I do is just discover what evolutionary stages, which just means leveling up them up to 36, I believe, which is when they evolve. And basically, that's very simple to do. If you want to know how to do it, I'll show you now. You go to navigate, you can go to locations, go to the underwater mining lab. As soon as we teleport there, I'll show you how to do it. And when you're here, basically what you can do is if you go all the way to the end of the route and you speak to this trainer at the end of the route right over here, basically he's a repeatable trainer, meaning you can fight him as many times as you want. And as of right now, he is the trainer that gives the most experience as a repeatable trainer. I think it's about 2000 with the just as a base rate and then obviously twice as much if you've got the experience game game pass boost. However, if you want to speed this up even more, then what you can do is you can put the same sort of Lumion species. For example, if you want to put a, let's say a Weavolt, you want to try and get that to level up as quickly as possible. And what you can do for the free to play players is basically if you get two more Weavolts by either by rallying or you trade them or whatever, if you put them into your bench things, they will gain 50% EXP as well, which will contribute as well to the exp uh task as well as giving you a lot more exp in general and spinning up the task so you don't just you're not just leveling up one lumion over time which takes can take a lot longer for example also one thing i forgot to mention is that if you have the exp share what it means is that you'll be able to not only just use the bench lumions but you can also lose any of the lumions inside of your party that have that are the same Lumion species for example in this case it was Weavolts um, if you put four extra Weavolts into your party along with a I don't know Zulong at the front because you're trying to gain 30,000 experience for one of your tasks um, what it means is that instead of 50% for your bench limbs they will gain 80% that your Zulong up front or whatever starter it is up front will gain and that will also contribute towards your mastery meaning that you'll basically gain sort of almost three times as much just from those using those three lumens alone 
Now, with the ones in your party, they will gain 50%. However, that's across four, so you're gaining roughly about four to five times as much as you were compared if you would just use one Lumion, which is much, much faster. Now, for the other two tasks, which one of them I believe is running, yep, Rally 50, um, which is the same for every single Lumion as well. Unfortunately, the only quickest way is to go to the Rally and stick a stick a Weevil or whatever into your as your rally leader or whatever starter it is and use the same species as your assistant. Now know that none of the toys, none of the feeds or any of the terms will speed this up. The only ways it can speed up unfortunately is by using a rally rate boost which will increase the rate uh, by halving the time that will take to rally aluminum or as well if you have the rally charm it increases your rates that you rally in uh, Lumions and basically that's unfortunately the only quickest way to do rallying. Now the final one for every single Lumion is to knock out 30 Lumions using any of the stars in battle. And this all using that species in battle which this goes for all the starters as well. The simple way to do this unfortunately is getting a really high powerful Lumion and basically just running around in the world. So, for example, if I go back to the rally, take my zoo along, uh, put them up front, and then just go into battle and then fight whatever Lumion's there, like a Kabunga, for example, that I've just found. Basically, simple way is just to keep doing this and keep knocking them out over and over again until you reach 30. Unfortunately, that's the only quickest way that you can do that. There's no other quicker way other than that. Now for the Twilight Mastery, uh, the first task is to discover all evolutionary stages, which is very simple for Umbra and Luxrule. Uh, a little bit more complicated for Tikalips, but I'll go over that in a second. So for Umbra and Luxrule, uh, firstly for Umbra, if you want to get one, then you need to level up to uh, Twilight up to level 22 uh, at night time. That's the only way it'll evolve into an Umbra. And it's the exact same for Luxrule, except it has to be daytime. Very easy to get, very simple, especially if you go without Red People Trainer, like I said uh, earlier, um, earlier in the video. It's very easy to level them up, very, very simple. However, for T-Calypse, it's a little bit more complicated. What you want to do is you want to stick a, basically, a Luxrule into Rally Leader or Assistant, doesn't matter which one, or a, and an Umbrat, rather, into Rally Leader or Assistant, doesn't matter which one it is either. Uh, but however, the Luxor must, learn must know Luminous Raw and the Umbrat must learn Gloom Fangs. This is the only way you'll be able to then rally a Twilight with Gloomless Raw, which is then how you'll be able to get a T-Calypso, which is then leveling up to level 22. And then by having that move learned, it will evolve into a T-Calypso as soon as it reaches level 22 compared to Umbrat and Luxor. Now for the next Lumion uh, task on the thing is to capture 10 uh, Twilight, which is very, very simple. The best way to do it is either go to Route 1, uh, Route 4, or even inside the Pagoda, uh, Hawaii Cemetery, or Route 6. They're the places that you'll be able to find Twilight. However, I recommend doing it at Route 1 because then it's much easier to capture them. They're not as high level and it won't take as long and it won't take you to basically put it down into Red HP and capture using a much advanced disc you can much easily use like a hyper disc at full hp and it'd be very easily able to catch it at route one so that's the best way to uh, capture 10 twilights now the same goes for knocking out 20 of them in battle um just basically to save time go maybe go to route one they'll be weakest there they'll be lowest level they'll be much much easier to knock out 20 there now when it comes to rallying, it's the exact same as it was for the starters. Unfortunately, there's no other fastest way to speed it up other than if you've got game passes or you're using the two times rally rate boost. The only simple way you can realistically rally, uh, I think it was 10, let me just double check, I think it was 10, yep. To rally 10 uh, is basically to either put a Luxor, an Umbra or a Tiki Lips or even Twilights into the rally leader and the same species into for the assistant and that's the basically the fastest way is you'll make it much quicker to rally if you have both the same species for leader and assistant if you have the rally gate if you have the rally charm and you have a rally boost it will make it um much quicker with the boost it'll be twice as quick with a rally with the rally charm i'm not sure how quick exactly it will be but it does make it quicker and it also means instead of being able to only rally four at a time in max capacity you'll be able to rally a total of nine all at once to view all of them at once 
And for the next uh, Lumia Mastery to do, it will be Sign Moth or the Cathorn line, which is very simple, only 20,000 experience uh, with Cathorn Propate or Sign Moth. Uh, just like the starters that I explained earlier, the best way to go is down to Route 8. Go to the other people train, they'll do them all the times, have a Cynomoth or a Cathorn or whatever, and your bench Lumians. If you've got the game passes, uh, which is primarily the XP share, then have six Cathorns, uh, four in your party, six in your bench, and that'll be the fastest way. If you don't have any free to play, then the best way to do it is just to have two uh, Cathorns in your bench party. Preferably as low level as possible, which you can get from rallying. You can get all the way from one to five in levels. So you'll get very low levels and it'll level up much quicker. Um, if you've also got the two times EXP uh, boost going on, it will also make your life much, much easier when it comes to gaining EXP. And that's the fastest way to do it. Now, as for the other two uh, tiles, which are Paralyzed 10 Lumians using uh, Dynamoth, uh, in battle and put 10 limbs to sleep using Sonomoth in battle. There is one very quick way and there was one very more RNG based and a bit of luck based and it will take a lot, a lot longer. One of the simple ways if you actually come to the Colosseum uh, and you go all the way to uh, this lady over here and you click on her and you remember some moves, this will take a bit of CP which is why if you have it, then have the CP, then this is a very quick way. Or if you want to buy CP using Robux, it's a very quick way to do so. However, you're free to play and you don't have as much CP, I will show you another way. But for those that can do it with CP, basically you will go to remember a move, go to sign them off. And what the ones that you want to learn will be snore spores and static spores. They will guarantee every time that you go to fight a Lumion in the wild or fight a train or whatever, they will guarantee um, if it lands, obviously, because it's 75 actually, it's not 100%, but if it does land, it will guarantee either to be put asleep or paralyzed, depending on which one you use. And that is a very, very quick way to do so if you have the CP. However, this if you don't have the CP, I'm about to show you another quick way that you can do this. Now, for those of you that don't have the CP or you basically don't have enough Robux or whatever to do so, then unfortunately the harder way, which how I completed it before I got a lot of CP, was basically to get yourself a sign off that knows mystery toxins, which basically means that it will randomly inflict a uh, opponent with sleep, poison or paralysis. Now, the one you're hoping for, obviously, not to get is poison. However, it will, however, if you do get this, unfortunately, you're just going to have to run away. It's very, very tedious. But basically, the best way to do this is if you go into the wild, having Sun and Moth out front, and you just run around the grass pit until you find a wild Lumion. For example, here, I found a calf note, which basically means that with Sun and Moth out, the mystery toxins, if the Lumion makes contact, has a very, very low chance that it will activate meaning it will get one of the random three status effects that it can produce which is sleep toxic or uh, paralysis onto the lumion and basically you're hoping for sleep or paralysis so basically the best way to do this is if you go to items let's say just like using meds let's say on your cyanomoth oh wait i won't let you do it uh let's find another way uh basically if you go to fight and you go to uh, wait and you just wait out the turn so it skips the turn basically you've got to wait until the lumion uh, the random model lumion basically hits your sign them off now this will mean that basically there we go it's just attacked and mystery toxins just activated and there we go it got paralyzed and basically you're gonna have to do that 10 to uh, hope to get that 10 times for both sleeping and paralysis now unfortunately this is the only realistically tedious way that you can do this, it doesn't learn spores or any of the other CP moves as it levels up or when it's uh, a much lower level. So unfortunately, if you want to be able to do this without spending CP or Robux, then this unfortunately is the quickest way to do so. Now for the final one being knockout uh, 25 Lumions using Sonomoth and Bell, basically simple as, as the other ones that I've explained already. Basically, just go to Route 8, find the repeatable trainer bunch, get it to a nice high level so it knows, know, uh, knows some very powerful moves, and then just go to a lower route such as Route 1 and just bow uh, 25 Lumens and knock them all out. 
and basically that is the simple and quickest way to complete that part and complete the Cyanomorph Mastery. Now for those of you wondering how to complete the Avatross Mastery, uh, for the first task it's deal a thousand damage with Avatross in battle. Again, the very simple way, go to the repeatable train on Rue 8, fight him a bunch and basically get him to a nice high level and then send maybe Avatross out in front to deal some damage or what you can, so that the ones uh, there have a lot of high HP which means you won't have to fight them as much or what you can do if you basically can't level that high or it's taking too long what you can do is go to a lower route or fight some of the lower route repeatable trainers such as the one I believe on route 4 named Jenny she's just out of about, about the start of the route she also gives a lot of EXP and she has some some fully evolved bug formulas such as Terrafly and Cynomoth. They have a lot of uh, high HP with, for their level, which means then if you just fight them a bunch, basically over time as you so slowly, you know, repeat her and basically defeat her, hopefully um, you'll deal a thousand damage eventually. It's one of the, unfortunately it's one of the quickest ways and there's basically no other quicker way other than that. Now when it comes to capturing five for the Abatross Mastery, Basically, the only quickest way is to find Twilights in the world. You can't find the Pyro Tweets or Avatrosses in the world. So, to find the Twills in the world, uh, I recommend going to Route 1, but you can also find them in Gale Forest, Route 3, and Route 5. However, the reason why I recommend Route 1 is obviously because they're much lower level, so they're not as hard to catch, and you can throw a Hyper Disc basically when it's uh, a much uh, fuller HP, and it will have a greater chance of capturing compared to those at Route 3, Route 5, and in Gale Forest. Now when it comes to earning 20,000 EXP for the Avatars Mastery, the best thing that I recommend is obviously going to the Repeatable Trainer again in Rue 8. It's a common theme, but unfortunately it's one of the best ways to do for most of the tasks. Um, if you're free to play, then obviously have two uh, Twittles or whatever in your um, Bench Lumions, and that will mean that they'll gain 50% EXP, uh, EXP from um, whoever's fighting as your first uh, Lumion in your party and they'll gain 50% EXP and that will contribute towards the mastery. However, if you have the EXP share game pass, then you're able to basically uh, put also four more Twittles into your party. They'll gain 50% EXP uh, on top of the 80% that your two bench Lumions will gain. And that is again the quickest way to earn the EXP. Obviously, if you have any of the boosts, uh, especially the EXP boost, that's the main one obviously because that's the only one that's going to give boost your EXP gain or if you have the uh, faster or the EXP multipliers from the mastery then that will be the quickest way that you'll get um, EXP uh, by using this method. And for the final task, knock out 15 uh, Twittles, Power Tweets or Avatrosses in Bow. Again, best way that I recommend is either going to Route 1, Gale Forest, Route 3 or Route 5, finding them in the world and simply knocking them out. There might be trainers around uh, Warrior that might know or might have um, Twittles or Power Tweets, I'm not too sure. If you do know any, also put that in the comments, I'm sure that will help people out. But for your sake and obviously so that you don't have to level up a Lumion uh, as high, to knock them out. You can do this with any Lumion, doesn't have to specifically be uh, Avatross because it's just knock out 15 of that species in battle. So obviously you could go to Route 1, uh, find a twirl there and kill it with a Zulong, that's more than fine. You just have to knock out 15 of that Lumion species in battle so it could be Wild or a Trainer and do that 15 times and that will complete your Avatross mastery. Now on to the Swolder mastery which uh, for the first task is to rally 20 uh, Piders which is very simple again if you go over to this man over here and talk to him basically he's the rally guy um either per spy uh, piders or swolders as your rally leader and assistant for the fastest way remember toys fees and totems do not speed any of this up only the rally charm or rally boost will um, increase the rate of the rallies um, if you have them as Rally Reader or System for you free to play players, then that will be the fastest way that you can get them, um, besides game passes and boosts. And basically, just leave that in the wait of a couple of minutes. It probably will take maybe 20 30 minutes to get um, 20, especially if you're free to play and you don't have a lot of time. It's one of the faster Lumions to rally, it doesn't take too long. Um, 
but that's one of the quickest ways that we are rally 20 piders. Now when it comes to the next task, which is level up a uh, pilot or smolder 30 times, what I do recommend that you do, uh, especially if you have the EXP share, is to rally six piders so that they are very low level and they're much, much easier to level up because they don't require as much EXP and go again to the repeatable trainer on route eight. Now this will mean that all six of them will be able to gain EXP from the battle and level up. All of them, each one of those piders that leveling up will contribute to the mastery task. So you don't have to just level up one swolder or pider one at a time. If each of them level up multiple times, all their levels will equally contribute to uh, leveling up 30 times, meaning you don't have to level up one pider to 32 or whatever. You can level up about six of them to level 10 or whatever, and it will all contribute to the task and it will complete it without you having to get absurd amount of XP and it should hopefully save you a lot of time. If you have um, the game passes as well or the XP boost, obviously this will speed up and make it a lot quicker. If you're free to play then just put two piders in your bench things and as they will gain 50% um, XP and obviously trying to rally them as well so that they're lowest level possible and that they'll level up a lot quicker without needing as much EXP. Now for the next task, which is to deal a thousand damage with Pydot Swolder in battle. Once again, what I recommend, level up a uh, Swolder to a very high level and basically go fight um, the repeatable trainers either on Route 4 or Route 8. There's also one, I believe, on Route 7, uh, just by the Vanticourt Vault um, before the bridge. You can fight him a bunch, but also because that sword is a poison type, it's super effective against the uh, um, uh, Lumians that the repeatable train out on Route 8 has. So it should hopefully be much easier to kill them. But also, if you have them a very high level, because the Lumians you're fighting are also quite a decently high level, they will have a lot more HP compared to the ones with a lot of lower level. And that will be one of the fastest ways that you can gain a thousand damage or get a thousand damage using Swolder in battle. Now this has to be a Swolder, it can't be any other loom. has to be a Swolder or a Pyder, you can use both. But what I recommend is that you get Swolder to a quite a high level so it's a lot easier to kill the Lumians and it'll be much quicker. Now for the final task for the Swolder Mastery which is Capture 5. Currently there are two places that you can get them, however only one of them is permanent, one of them is temporary at the moment. Um, the first place is obviously going to Gale Forest, however you can only find them at night time. They're uh, not too uncommon, they're quite common to actually find. And basically you just capture five of them and then you'll have completed the task. The other way to do it is currently uh, for the Halloween 2021 event. If you go to the cemetery in Unfair, you can find Piders there, although they are quite rare. You can find them there and obviously capture them and it'll be very simple to complete uh, the capture five task. However, if you're watching this after the event, uh, when it's finished, then basically just wait till it's night time, go to Girl Forest, catch five piders, and then you'll have that task completed. Now for the floor and mastery, uh, the first one is to earn 20,000 experience with either Pipsy or Floran. Uh, basically, simple as again, get a bunch of uh, Pipsies. Obviously, if you're um, free to play, then you can have two Pipsies benched and they will gain 50% uh, e EXP uh, from the battle. Um, obviously, if you have the XP share game pass, then obviously you can have six, uh, uh, or you can have seven, basically. You can have like, a floor on up front, and then six Pipsies in the back, four in the party, two in the bench, and those four Pipsies in your party will gain 50% of the XP that your floor on does get, uh, and the ones that are bench will gain 80% that your floor on does get, and obviously the floor on will gain 100% in the battle. That's obviously the quickest way to do so, and that's the best way to gain EXP for that. Obviously, if you want to gain a lot of EXP, as I've said multiple times, go to the repeatable train on Route 8. It's the best place for EXP currently in the game. Now, for the next Anthony Mastery task, which is to capture five. Unfortunately, there's only one place that you can do this, which is Gale Forest. And unfortunately, you can only find them in the daytime. However, they are not too uncommon. Um, they're quite easy to find when it is daytime, so obviously that's the only place unfortunately you can do it and that's the fastest way to do that. For rallying 20, the best way obviously is to get a Floran as your rally leader 
and one is your rally assistant and then obviously if you have the rally charm or rally boost it will speed up considerably none of the toys feeds or totems will speed this up unfortunately the only way that you can uh, speed up as a free to play player is having either a florin or pipsy or antsy sorry rather as your um rally leader or assistant and that's the quickest way you can do that as a free to play player obviously if you've got the boost or charms like i've said that is the that will be the quickest way that you can speed it up using robux items or whatever stuff like that and for the final task knock out 10 lumians using uh, anti or florin in battle basically the quickest way obviously again is to go to a people trainer level up a floor into a really high level and then or even just like a mid level like 25 or whatever go to route one fight a bunch of lumians kill them all there and then you're done just knock out 10 of them in the world and you're finished you just have to make sure that you're using a floor ant or an anti to do so now for the terrafly and terraclaw uh mastery uh, line or uh the first task is to knock out 20 of them in battle so one of the best ways that i think to do this at the moment is simply you can either go to gale forest find grubbies and the its evolutions there um for terra flies as well if you want to do it while guinea it's peak quite fast as well if you go to the repeatable trainer on route four i believe jenny she has a terra fly you can knock them out there as well or if it goes to the train with people train seven or six i think it's seven i think it's seven um you go there to the people trainer he's just before the bridge by the banticorp vault um he has a terror claw there so you can knock out them very easily there uh capturing five obviously the best way that i personally think you can do that is either you can find terror flies at route eight Although I think that's a bit more tedious and obviously the higher level, so it's going to be a bit more tricky to capture them. I think if you've just got a Gale Forest, you can easily find Grubbies there and stuff like that. So you can easily capture five and it's much, much easier. Now for the next one, to level up 30 times. Um, I think obviously that if you go to the People Trainer on Route 8 as well, and you have multiple grubbies in your party um as i've explained that are really low level that you get from rallying so they'll be from levels one to five so they'll level up uh, very quickly and won't require as much exp as the ones that might find in the world if you're free to play players obviously you can only have two in your bench parties um for the ones that are one to five realistically and they'll gain 50 percent obviously if you've got the uh, exp share you can have up to six grubbies in the party plus the one at your front. So if you're using like Terrafly, Terraclaw at the front of the party, then obviously you can use that to also see if it can try and gain levels while you're trying to level up the other six, which will contribute to it. Obviously, if you've got the game passes and the boost, it'll make it much quicker, uh, especially if you've got the XP times two boost. That's the only one that really will contribute to that. And if you go to the people trainer, like I said, on Route 8, he will give the most XP, he gives two, about 2,000 on base rate, 4,000 if you have the uh, boost going, and that's currently the fastest way to do it. Um, like I said though, if you have the multiple um, grubbies in your party, and benched as well, only have them in your party if you have the XP share, otherwise they won't gain any XP. Um, if you don't have the XP share, just use two uh, level like really low level grubbies that you got from rallying which will be between level one and five put them in your bench they'll gain 50 percent of it obviously is maybe as well use a really high level um terrify or terra claw up front um and fight the people train on route eight and he will give the most amount of experience and that's the fastest way to level up 30 times now for the final to discover all evolution stages just find a cunicopia and uh level up at level 18 to get a terrafly very simple the grubby cunicopia and terrafly basically they just level up via uh battling trainers and obviously they evolve um when they reach certain levels however they're very low levels especially if you're getting terrafly only needs to be level 18 very quick to do so however the terrafly or terraclaw rather it's a little bit more difficult you have to um get it to obviously level up to level 18 however it needs to be holding a multi claw which is the only way you can get that currently is from uh basically getting a garbantis that knows the move molt 
which when you first use it will drop you a claw, a multi-claw, which then you can give to a Gunnacopia and then as soon as it reaches level 18 and gets to evolve, if it's holding that, it will evolve into a Terrafly, or a Terraclaw, sorry, and that will then complete uh, that task by discovering all uh, living stages. Getting the Garbantis, however, and leveling up to level 37 is very tedious, like I've said. The only really best way to do that as well is to, um, well, there are people trying to route 8, that gives them most of the XP. Obviously, if you've got the boost, like I've said, then it will um, make your life much easier, basically, to level it up. And then as soon as it does evolve, I believe it learns more, or I think it might learn at a level, uh, a higher level, it might be level 37. Um, but as soon as as soon as it does learn it, make sure you teach it to it. Use it once in battle, and then you will earn a multi claw. It'll be in your uh, in your bag, and then you can use, you can give it to um, the Cunicopia, and then as soon as it reaches level eighteen, it will evolve into it, uh, completing that uh, limited task. Now for the Kleptog and Ragoon line, uh, the first task is to deal eight hundred damage using a Kleptog or Ragoon in battle. Obviously very simple as well, if you are got a high level Ragoon or you're trying to level it up higher, basically as you're fighting and using it, it will deal damage over time. Obviously if you fight the higher level Lumians, like the Peel Train on Route 8, we'll have Lumians with a lot higher HP, so it'll be much easier to kill, uh, it'll be much easier sorry, to complete the task, and it will be much, much quicker. That's a knockout 10 in battle. The only real areas that I think I know you can find is some trainers on Route 3, I believe. I think the trainer there has a Kleptike, I'm not sure which one, I'll probably put it on the screen now. Um, but also, um, you can find them in the wild, they're quite rare to find in the wild, however. But um, you just have to basically find 10 either by battling or... I think the River People trainer on Route 3 might have a Kleptike, so you might be able to just repeat her rather than go in the wild. But if she doesn't have one, then obviously just go into the wild. And you can, they're quite rare though to find, so good luck finding them. Um, and just knock out 10 of them basically in battle, either in a normal battle or in the world, and then that will complete that mastery task. Uh, for the next mastery task, to rally 20, very, very simple again. Basically, just go over to this man, talk to him, uh, put your Ragoon or Kleptike or whatever's rally leader, and also put it as the assistant. And that'll be the fastest way for your free to play players. If you have the rally charm, or, or you have Rally Boost, you can use them basically and it will speed this process up much quicker by making them rally at a faster rate. So obviously if you have the faster rallying rate which comes at around level 54 or something like that-ish, um, it will obviously make your rallying times a lot quicker. However, if you don't have that, then basically if you have one as your leader and assistant, that will be the quickest way to uh, complete. Obviously if you have the boost of game passes, that will speed up much, much quicker. And for the final task to capture five, like I said before, if you go to route three, that's I believe one of the only places I think you can find a Kleptike. They're quite rare to find those, so good luck finding them. Basically, you just got to find five on that route, capture them, and then that'll be that mastery task completed. I'm not sure if route three is the only place, but as far as I'm aware, that's the only place. If it's not, I'll put it up on the side here. Otherwise, the only place you can find is that route three. Now for the Babor or Brock lines for its mastery. The first one obviously earned 20,000 XP using a uh, Babor or Barok in a battle. Basically one of the simplest ways, again, go to a people trainer on Route 8 and fight him a bunch. Obviously if you're free to play, then put two um, Babors in your bench um, so that they gain 50% EXP that the uh, that the Lumion that we sent out battling will earn, they will earn as well. Obviously, probably the best way to do that as well is to use a Brock up front, so that when fighting, um, that also gains the EXP from the bow as well as the two there. If you have the EXP shirt, then maybe then use fill, then fill up your party entirely with balls apart from your uh, Lumion up front, which will be a Brock or whatever that you're going to be using, and. Basically, the ones in the party will earn 50% EXP, and the ones that are bench will earn 80%. And they will, the EXP they all earn will contribute to Borsis Mastery to complete this task. And the next one is to capture five of Bors, which is also very simple. Go to route three, I believe that's the only place you can find them. 
Um, they're not too rare, unfortunately, so it will make your life a lot more, a lot easier. If you just go to Route 3, capture 5, you'll then have that task completed. Now for the next task to knock out 15 barrel, uh, I believe some trainers on Route 3 also have the bores. And I believe some even the later trainers maybe on Route 4 also have the bores. Um, you can also find the bores in the wild on Route 3 and on Route 4. So that'll be very, they're not too hard to find, so they'll be very easy to find and knock out. You just gotta do that 15 times and that'll complete that task. And for the final one to knock out 15 limits using a super effective move using uh, the ball or the rock. What I also recommend you do is, I believe it learns some very powerful uh, earth type moves uh, later on when it uh, levels up and evolves. Um, what you then can do is go to Pollute Corp or go to uh, the Route 7, find some metal types, use the earth type moves on them. It'll be super effective. Just do that 15 times, uh, knock out 15 lumens using earth moves there uh, in either Pollute Corp or Route 7, and then you'll have that final task for this Baroque mastery to be completed. Moving on to the Get Clo and Eleguana mastery. Uh, the first task is to form a perfect bond with Geklo or Eleguana, which is very, very simple. Um, there's two ways that you can do it. The first one is just by using it to fight a bunch of trainers. Very, very simple. You can go to repeatable trainers on earlier routes or primarily route eight. Um, it will gain happiness by doing that way. And the way that you know it will be max bond is when it when you talk to uh, your Eleguana or Geklo. And here it will say that it is ecstatic. That is max happiness. That's when you know to get to complete the task. You just need to go into battle when it is a static. When you finish the battle, it should have that task completed. The other way to do it, uh, which is simple and a bit less, you know, it's less tedious. You don't have to do so much. You can basically just run around um, uh, using. You don't have to. You don't need to use your mount. If you use your mount, it will not work. You have to basically hold shift run around basically for about i would say about 15 to 20 minutes it's not too long unfortunately just make sure it's the, that uh, your eleguana or get low is the first lumi in your party so it is at the top here and then just run around for about 15 20 minutes hopefully then it should get to max happiness when you talk to it as soon as it is go into a battle complete the battle um and with eleguana your party and then it should have a max bond and obviously complete that task now for the next task which is to rally five obviously again very very simple just simply put eleguana as rally leader obviously i can't put it in because it's an event one um they have an eleguana or get close rally leader same as the assistant if you have the rally charm or using a rally boost this will speed up make it a lot quicker None of the toy fees or totems will speed this up, so that's the only way you can do it. Um, but if you have the rally charms or using the boost, or you've got faster rallying from the mastery, this will be the quickest way to do it. And you basically just got to rally five, get close, and then you'll have that task completed. Now for the last two master tasks, uh, the first one is to knock out five Lumians using a super effective move with get close or iguana. What I recommend you do is that you level up your get or go on to a high level um, and then use electric moves against um, any of the metal types around Route 7 or in Pollute Corp, um, preferably Scorps or Chomp Actors, anything like that, or even the, um, what other metal types that I'm trying to think now, I can't think. Um, but any of the other Lumions that are there, that are metal type basically use electric moves against them and knock them out with using electric type moves and that should knock them out the final one to deal 10 critical hits using get a call out of the ground of battle what i recommend you do is level up to around level 30 that will learn examine which means that as soon as you move, use the move your next attack will guarantee to be a critical hit so then just as you're back like maybe kill a low level lumion um, use examine and then you use for example gamma pulse and that should kill that lumion and knock it out so that you deal critical hits with it obviously you don't have to kill the lumion unfortunately um for this last task it's just dealing 10 critical hits so you can do this more times even with a, a uh, higher level lumion that has a lot more hp or one that's higher level than you that way it doesn't take as long so you don't have to go in and out of battles 
uh, if you want to avoid the risk of you being KO'd or whatever, then you can just do it on low level Lumion, so like in the world, use the exam and use Gamma Pearls, kill it, and then just do repeat that 10 times. And the, that will conclude the Elegrana Mastery, and you'll have that task finally completed. And for the next Lumion Mastery, being Gastro, the first task is to knock out 50 of them in battle. Now, this is also very simple. Um, all you've got to do, I believe, is go to route. Five, I think it is, or is route four, one of the two. Uh, might be route four, might be route five. Not sure which one, I'll probably put it up on screen over here to make my life easier. Um, but basically you can find them very easy in the wild around uh, the Mushroom Village, uh, whatever route's around that. Um, go to that route, basically. There, you can find them very easy in the wild, just knock out 15 of them, and then you've completed that mastery task. The next one, obviously, is to rally 10 of them which is also, again, very simple. Capture maybe one or whatever. Uh, start rallying, so obviously I can't put this in because it's an event lumen, but basically set it as your rally leader, set the same as your assistant, and that will make it go the fastest that it can with your free to play people. Now, for those who have game passes and boosts, obviously if you have the uh, rally boost, they'll make it go twice as fast, and if you've got the rally charm, that will also increase the rate that you rally at. Um, none of the toys, fees, or terms will increase that, that speed. And that's the fastest way to do so to complete that mastery task. Now for the third one, which I believe is just to capture five. If I go down and scroll through, yep, capture five. If it goes to, again the route that's by the outside of the mushroom village, you can literally just find them very easy. They're not too high level, about around 10-ish. Um, you can easily just capture them either using a spare Lumion or uh, or using a Lumion that no spare, or basically just trying to lock out with some hyper discs and capture five, very, very simple. And then for the last master task, which is to earn 20,000 EXP, basically go to the uh, repeatable trainer route eight. You can um, use that trainer uh, to and have a gastro, let's say up front, that's quite a high level, um, to uh, fight against the route, uh, the repeatable trainer on route eight, or you could just use one of your own Lumions. Um, that's quite high level already. Um, by him using that and just have basically for you free to play people, you can have uh, basically I would recommend having two sluglings at the back that will gain 50% EXP. Um, but if you have the EXP shirt, then you could have uh, two sluglings in your bench, which will gain 80% uh, EXP if you have the EXP shirt. And you can also put four sluglings in your party and then we'll gain 50% EXP. And for those who are free to play, obviously don't put any uh, sluglings in your party. If you don't have the EXP share because they will gain no percent no of the EXP that your the Lumion that you've sent out um, will get from defeating the opponent. And that's the fastest way to complete all four tasks for the Gastro line. Now when it comes to the Kabunga Mastery line, the first task is to discover three evolutionary stages. Very, very simple. Uh, just trade Kabunga over with another player. That will get you a wiki wiki. Um, if you then trade a Kabunga, I believe, for a Kratel, it will evolve into Chartiki and then obviously I'll sell the player to trade it back. Very, very simple. The other one that I believe that you could do right now, which to complete it, which is the only other one, which is wiki, uh, wiki uh, lacquer, I believe. Um, if you get a Halloween Kabunga, which you can currently get for the UNFA event or the Halloween 2021 event that's currently going on at the moment, um, you can get night, uh, Halloween Kabunga from the event in the cemetery just by finding it. Pretty common, shouldn't be too hard. You can also get, a, and then to evolve it, get a Nightmare Orb um, from Dr. Halloween or whatever his name is. Uh, Hallow Halloween? What's well, something like that. <laughs> Um, then um, trade 100 candies with him, which you can get from the corn maze, um, to buy a Nightmare Elb, give it to a Halloween Kabunga, that can only be done with a Halloween Kabunga, not a normal Kabunga. Give it to Halloween Kabunga, trade it over to play, it will evolve into uh, Kilaka, and then should be able to complete that mastery task for you. And then for rallying 10 um, of Kabungas, also very, very simple simply go to him um put the bungas in for your ray leader and for your assistant or child tiki's or um wiki wiki or whatever it is um and then basically have one for your assistant as well 
And then if you for your free to play players, that is the fastest way you can do it. Um, toys fees and times will not affect the rally rate whatsoever. Um, but for you players that have game passes or boosts, use the if you have the rally charm, it will make it go faster as well. I'm not sure about how much. Um, if you have the uh, any boost tokens and you want to use it for the rally rates you can use that to make it go twice as fast which is much easier uh, just a heads up though you cannot rally any halloween kabungas as they are considered event lumians so you can only really do it with normal kabungas to complete that uh, mastery task now for the next one if we scroll down back down to kabunga thing uh, knock out 15 lumians using any of its evolution kabungas uh, evolutionary lines also very very simple to get it to a high level or get it to a decent level go down to like room one knock out a bunch of lumians there so you don't have to level up as much and then just knock out 15 wild lumians and then you'll have that task completed and then obviously for the final task which is to earn 15,000 experience using uh, any of the kabunga lines or kabunga itself obviously what i recommend you do is you go down to a peaceful train on route eight fight him a bunch obviously you don't have to ha use a, a Kabungo and if it's line up front, you can use like a Zulong or whatever. Um, for your free to play players, I recommend that you put a very low level um, Kabungas, possibly that one gets some rallies, because then the ones that you rally will be between well, levels one and five. Um, put those in your bench passes and then we're getting you 50% XP that the Lumion that's up front uh, will gain from fighting the opponents. Um, for those that have uh, the XP share, uh, you can have a total of up to six in your party, so you can fill up your party and the bench with very low level Kabungas. Um, the ones in your party will gain 50%, and the ones that you have bench will gain you 80%. Um, if you don't have any game passes, you don't have the XP share, don't put any Kabungas in your party, they won't gain any XP from the battle at all. Um, if you have any boost tokens, you can obviously use the uh, experience gained um, boost which will double the amount of EXP you've gained and make that process obviously a lot quicker. Probably will only require one battle if you have the EXP share and you have the boost running. And that will conclude uh, the Kabunga Mastery. And moving on now to the Sorchi Mastery. So the first one is to knock out five in battle. The simplest way to do it is go to the route outside the Mushroom Village, which I believe is route four or five, one of the two. Um, but I think it's really full. Um, they're quite rare to find in the wild. Um, so good luck finding them. Um, just simply knock out five in the battle. That'll complete that. Um, sort of similar for capture for the next one to capture five in the, uh, in the wild. Very, very simple as well. Go the route outside the mushroom village, which I believe is route four. Um, they're quite rare to find in the wild, like I said. So good luck finding them and just simply capture five. That's literally the fastest way to do both of them. The only way you can find them is at the route outside Mushroom Village, which I believe is route four. And then for the third task, to rally five of them. Uh, it's very, very quick as well. Very, very simple. Get a sort sheet, basically simple. Uh, set it as your rally leader. Get one for the assistant. That'll make it go as fast as possible. Um, the toys, feeds and totems don't affect rally speed. And for you free to play players, this will be the fastest way you can do it. For those who have game passes and the boost, um, what you can do is you can have the rally charm as well. That will increase the rate that your um, that your rally sorties. And also, if you're using any rally boost, that will double the speed that you're rallying uh, any sorties. And that will be the fastest way that you can obviously complete that task. And then just simply rally five, and then you'll have that task completed. And then for the final task, to deal a thousand damage with Sorting Bow. Again, very, very simple. You get it to a higher level. You can have it at a low level and just fire a load of uh, low level trainers or wild Pokemon. Oh, not Pokemon. Sorry, this is Lumia Legacy. Um, fight uh, a bunch of low level uh, Lumians in the wild or people trainers. Um, basically, just do that a bunch of times uh, until you basically deal a thousand damage in total. Very, very simple. Obviously, if you want to level up your source, you can do that basically and then. You'll obviously deal damage by doing that if you have it up front, or you just want to level up so that you can deal more damage quicker because obviously high level looms will have more HP. 
Um, you could do it that way, or you could do it with lower level limbs. Personally, I think maybe doing it with leveling it up like to level 20 or so, and then finding the repeatable train, I believe, on Route 5. Jenny, who's there, he's got a Terra Flying Terra Claw, or Terra Flying Sinem, sorry. Um, I think that might be one of the quickest ways to do it. Obviously, if you've got a Sorcery or, or you have a Sorcery already that's higher level, let's say, you can easily go to Route 8 and do it there. That will obviously be quickest, and that will conclude um, the Sorcery Mastery. Now moving on to the record order and set of Mars Mastery. Uh, the first one I do is to level up 30 times. Also very, very simple. Get a bunch of low level record rollers that you've got from um, rallying. Very, very simple for your free to play players. Put them in your bench pile. They'll gain 50% EXP. And obviously because they're lower level, they don't require as much EXP to level up. So I make it a lot quicker. Use people that have uh, the EXP share or boost. You can also put for uh, record rollers into your party that are also very low level that you got from rallying that will be from level one to five um they'll also gain a lot of exp and should level up very very quickly and you can fight the repeatable trainer on route eight gain the most amount of exp he gains two thousand or gives two thousand a baseline and around four thousand obviously if you're using the double exp boost and that's the best way to gain exp and obviously level up 30 times for this mastery the next one is to capture five of them. Simply go to route five and you'll be able to find records very, very easily there. Um, simply capture five, they're not too uncommon, so it should be quite easy there. For the third task is to knock out uh, 10 of them in battle. Obviously, once again, go to route five, hide them there. Um, basically, just knock 10 of them out that you find in the world. Obviously, again, not too uh, uncommon, should be pretty easy and that will have that task as well also completed final one to deal 500 damage with a record ruler or set of miles in battle obviously what you could do is you could level up a record ruler to get it to evolve into a set of miles and fight a bunch of low level um lubians or whatever or fight some repeatable trainers using a set of miles or get a record ruler up to a high level to um buy some lower level ones maybe like the ones around gale forest or route 2 or whatever and then just basically just fight enough until you deal 500 damage with Set of Miles or Rapid Roller. And then that will have uh, that Set of Miles mastery completed. Now for the Gun Pod or Venture uh, mastery, the first one to do is to burn five Lumions using Venture or Gun Pod in battle. Now, um, with that mastery task, one of the simple uh, ways to do so is to actually evolve your Gun Pod into a Venture. So if I just find mine here some should be here. find that that is yeah there it is right at the bottom um he can learn uh or she he whatever gender is um can learn geyser which unleashes a hot possible wire and steam that has a chance to burn your target i believe at the moment this is the best way to uh, be able to learn um to be able to burn uh, five lumions should be pretty easy if you don't level it too high and you go to like the repeatable train in route 8 and do it and use guys a bunch of times until hopefully you get that very low chance to, to get it to burn um then it should be much then that should allow you not to kill the lumion but also give you the chance the most amount of chance to burn the opposing lumion if you don't level it too high and you use it especially against the route 8 trainer because obviously it's water type so obviously it won't be super effective it will be um, not very effective at all so then you just keep using against each of the lumens until it burns and then swap out and then just knock out that lumen and swap them back in to hopefully burn the next thing and keep going so forth so forth until you burn five lumens. um for the next task for invention is to form a perfect bond so again, very simple. Or you can do what you can. One of the, there's two ways that you can do this. First one being just simply find trainers and basically using invention as you loom me up front um, and winning the fights. Obviously, that will increase your bond until you reach max uh, bond invention, which you'll know when you talk to it. It will say it's a static. So when I talk to this gun pod, obviously it's kind of bored. So obviously to get that to a static. So they just keep firing um, random trainers until it's static. Uh, you'll know by obviously you can check by talking to it, and then it will tell you if it's static or not. And then just going about win that battle, and then it'll have that task completed. The other way to do it is obviously just do a hold shift and run around a bunch. 
Um, do not use your mount as this will not make it increase its bond or anything like that. It has to be the first party or the first uh, Lumion in your party. It has to be out and you have to be running around with it. That's the only way we could do it. Do that for about 15-20 minutes. Should then have max bond. Obviously it doesn't just keep going with it. Um, and that should conclude basically um, that task. And as soon as you talk to it, check. If it's a static, great. Then you can just go into a battle, win that battle with Venture in your party, and then that should have that task completed. And for the third task for Venture, let's have a look. So it's knockout five limbs, you've been super fair to move with Venture. So obviously, you could just um, use Geyser or any Wars type move. I recommend going to Ignatius Hollow, there's a lot of fire types there. You can easily kill them using Geyser because you'll have very, uh, they'll be quite high level with your Venture. So you'll be easily able to kill them and then just do that five times and you'll have that task completed. And then for your final task, which is just a rally five, very, very simple. Once again, you just go over, talk to him, uh, put a venture or gun port or whatever uh, as the rally leader and then have one as your assistant and that'll be the fastest for you free to play players. The toys, fees and terms do not fit rally speed whatsoever. Um, if you have the game passes, so the raid charm or any of the boosts, you can easily use them. It will make it much faster and especially if you have the raid boost, that'll make it go twice as fast. And that is the fastest way. Just rally five of them and then you'll have that mastery task for a venture and complete and that will conclude the venture mastery. Now for the USO or USNAC uh, mastery, uh, the first task is to simply knock out 10 of the Lumians using them in battle. So what I recommend obviously you do is level up a fan cub to quite a high level and then just go maybe down the route one, use a bunch of brawler type moves on like the Twilights, Cathons as the should be able to knock them out very easily. Just do that 10 times, job done. Uh, for your next task, if we can load and get down to it, uh, is to rally 10. Very, very simple once again. Stick a USO and I don't think yeah, you can't stick a US snack in there because it's an event lumium. Um, but stick a bunch of fan cubs in there or USO or your souls. Um, and that'll be the fastest for you free to play players. Obviously, toy speeds and tomes do not affect, just make sure you have one or do not affect rally speed. Sorry, just make sure you have a USO or fan cub as rally leader and rally assistant. That will be the fastest way. For you people who have game passes and boosts, obviously, if you have the rally charm, that will make it go a lot. That will make it go faster and rally faster. Of and if you have the any boost tokens, you can use it. Uh, get the rally rate a boost, which make it go twice as fast. Obviously, if you also complete the mastery up to like 54 or something like that, you can also get faster rallying, which will make it go by about, I think it's about 1.2 times as fast. So not much of a boost, but it obviously will help in the long run. Uh, for your next mastery task for the USO and USNAC line, and as long as it loads, there we go. Um, it's only 15,000 experience. So very, very simple. Uh, literally just go to a people trainer on Route 8, fight it a bunch, um, for your free to play players, obviously um, what I'd recommend is you rally a load of low level fan cubs, so obviously when you rally them they're level 1 to 5, um, for your free to play players, put them uh, put two in your bench lumens, um, and then go ahead and fight the people trainer Route 8, that way it will get the most amount of experience from it, and they will gain about 50%. Uh, no, they'll gain 50% sorry from the battle and um, that will be the fastest way for free to play players and I would do that with the people training route 8. For those of you that have the XP share or boost tokens for whatnot, you can obviously use the boost tokens to gain twice as much XP from the repeatable training route 8 to make that go as faster. Um, or twice as fast sorry. And then obviously if you have the XP share you can put um, four fan cubs in your party and I have two in your bench so I'll have 50 the four in your party will gain 50% XP and those that are bench will gain 80% XP. Um, however do if you don't have the XP shirt don't put any fan cubs in your party they won't gain any XP from the battle whatsoever only your bench lumens will and that'll be the fastest way to gain any XP um, for this task. 
Obviously, um, you don't have to use Yusuo or Yusnak as your Lumion that you're using to battle. You can use the Zulon or whatever. It just has to be that that species earns 15,000 experience in whatever shape or form. For your final task, to form a perfect bond, once again, simply use a Yusuo or Yusnak and just basically fight a bunch of the repeatable trainers anywhere, preferably the Route 8 ones so you can gain the XP as well and gain the perfect bond preferably as well obviously if you don't want to do that just go ahead run around a bunch um holding shift making sure that your cell or your snack is um at the front of your party but obviously um make sure that you don't use any mounts as that will um not contribute any uh, happiness towards the first thing mean, if you are going to do the run around method it takes around about 15 to 20 minutes. Just do that for about 15 to 20 minutes. Check on it. Obviously talk to it. If it says it's a static, then you're at max happiness. Mine's just happy at the moment. So I think that's one below a static. Um, just run around. As soon as it says it's a static after your battles or whatever, or you've run around for 15, 20 minutes or whatever or so, um, talk to it to check. If it's a static, that's great. If it's not, then keep running around or doing more battles. As soon as it is a static, go into battle, win that battle with your use or your snack with the perfect bond, and you'll have that task completed. And that will conclude the mastery for the use and use snack line. Now, for the Wisp Up and Revenine mastery, the first one to do is to level up 30 times. Very, very simple. If you are a free to play player, just put the wisp up or two wisp ups uh, that you have rallied. So that'll be level this, so that'll be level one to five. So don't need as much XP to level up. Put two of them in your bench party, or, or put two wisp ups into your bench lumians. They will gain 50% EXP from any battle that you do. And obviously, because they don't require as much EXP to level up, it'll make it much quicker. Um, if you people who have game passes or boosts you can obviously put four more wisp pups up preferably level one to five that you've rallied um into uh your party and they will obviously gain 50 percent um exp and the ones that you have bench will also gain um 80 percent obviously you can use a rep nine up front as well or what or wisp up whatever up front to gain um exp and level up as well that will also contribute towards it um, obviously though you don't have to do that you can use whatever limit you want uh, up front it's just that uh, that or ones that you benched or ran it or that you, or in your party sorry um, have to gain levels basically or the one up front that you can gain levels but the fastest way to do it is have if you have the XP share as well um, to put it four in your party two in your bench and then make sure they're all very low level so that when they level or when they gain XP they can level up very quickly because they're low level and they don't require as much XP to level up. So for your next task as well, um, to capture five, very simple, go to Hawaii Cemetery, um, encounter five wisp ups there, capture them, not too long, not too rare, should be quite easy, just capture them there, job done. Um, and then for your third task, to knock out 30 uh, Lumians using um, Revenine and Bow or Wisp Up and Bow. Very, very simple as well. Go to maybe route one with the wisp, wisp up that you've just caught. It probably will be able to deal just fine there or a revenant that you have. Go down to route one, fight 30 lumens there, knock them all out, job done. You'll have that task completed. That will take a bit of time, however, because it is 30 lumens. However, as soon as you get that task done, you'll be good. And for your final task, to knock out 15 lumens using a super effective move with wisp up or revenant, what I recommend is that you use Re uh, Revenine or Wisp Up then has a fire type move. Go down to Route 7 or Pollute Corp as a load of metal types there um, and just use a bunch of fire type moves and knock them out because that'll be super effective against metal types and then just do that 15 times and then you'll have that task completed and that will conclude the Wisp Up and Revenine mastery. Hey, that's how you made it to the end of the first part of the, for the fastest way to complete your mastery in Lumion Legacy. If it's specifically mean that you want to know how to complete the mastery for all that wasn't in this video, chances are that it's in the part 2 video, which I will upload in a couple of days. If you have any suggestions, or found something else out that could be useful to the community, be sure to post a comment, and I'll be sure to read them all. Once again, if you found this content especially helpful, or you just enjoy the type of content that you've seen, be sure to hit like and subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later, and it's free. For now, have a great rest of your day, and until next time guys, peace.